Here I have a whole sun 3000 PSI electric pressure washer. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the box, symbol it, and then we're going to test it out. You'll find you got the main unit. It has a very long power cord that comes with it. It comes with the hose that connects to the wand and it does have a quick connect wand and extension. So that's really cool. It does come with a foaming attachment. It comes with 0, 15, 25, and 40. These are pretty standard nozzles and standard fittings. Now, there is some assembly required, but what you'll also find is a screwdriver, which says everything you need to put this thing together comes with it right out of the box. So you don't have to have any special tools or anything else. The one tool that is needed to put this together comes with it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the wheels on. There's no screws or anything needed to put these together. So you line these wheels up here and you just snap them on, turn it around this way, same thing here, grab one side and just push it on. So they just snap in and now you've got wheels on it. To install the handle, it's pretty simple. It only goes on one way. You just slide the handle over those and seat that in well, just push them in. And then we're gonna put four long screws right here. All right, and now the handle is on. Next, I'm going to install the pressure tip holders, and I'm gonna put that right here on the back of the pressure washer. You slide that over the four screw holes, and then again, screw those in hand tight. All right, so now that's on there nice and snug. Now we have a place to hold our pressure fittings and the foaming attachment on the back, like this. This just slides right into the handle like this just press it in and then you'll see again it says up so this is the direction up that it needs to go this takes four small screws those four screws are now put in here's the hose holder you can see it from the front it's got this little hook here where you can hang the hose this little attachment piece here this is going to hold the power cord once it's all rolled up and again no screws are needed for this it's just going to slip on to those little plastic edges that are sticking out on the side of the pressure washer so the two last pieces we need to put on are for the wand holder this slides on right on top of those grooves and you just push it all the way down doesn't have to go too crazy to push it down but as you can see there now it's level and it's on you take this bottom piece and you do the same thing you just set this in that groove there and snap it right down so it is a quick connect wand very easy to use and the same thing with putting on the other hose you just push this and you slide the hose in there and then the same way to take it off you push it and pull it out this is the main hose that goes from the pressure washer here which this is just a little cap to protect the threads while it's shipping so you'll screw this end right here under this and then this end here goes to this and you'll be ready to go so this wand now we can stick the end down here slide it in and now we have the entire pressure washer assembled so as you can see here i got the hose hooked up to the front of the machine this hose goes to the actual pressure washer wand then i have the water hose hooked up to the back it's got a very easy connector all of this went on really easy I've also got the power cord plugged in, which has a really nice long cord, so that's awesome too. So I'm gonna test out this foaming attachment here. I'm also gonna test out each one of these pressure fitting nozzles at the end to show you what it does against my driveway. To put these fittings on, they're very simple. They're quick connect, so this just slides in here. Take a couple fingers, push that back, and slide that in. It's very easy to connect these, and they're pretty much universal with all of these type of pressure washers. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the pressure washer on. You hear that noise for just a second as it builds up pressure, and you're also gonna hear that noise while it's running. This is the zero degree nozzle. It's like a pencil nozzle, it's a very straight line. So I don't really use this one a lot unless I need to really get something off the concrete, mainly because it will etch your concrete if you're not careful.
As you can see there, the zero degree nozzle, it's a very fine point nozzle that puts all the pressure in that one area. It looks like it might have even etched it a little bit. So it's not something you want to use unless you know what you're doing because it can actually take some of the concrete off. So I'm going to go to the 15 degree, which is much more of a common use nozzle for pressure washing concrete. So as you can see there, that didn't do like the pencil pattern. It did a pattern that was more of like a fanned pattern, but it still was able to get down there and knock that out. This is a safer tip to use than the zero degree because you can get a little closer and you can fine tune what you wanna do without tearing up your concrete or whatever you're spraying. All right, so this one, a lot like the 15 degree, this is a 25 degree nozzle and it's gonna fan out like the 15 degree, but again, it's not gonna be as much pressure as the previous one. So to get some of that more stubborn dirt that's on there, I had to get a little bit closer to be able to get the pressure down in there to actually knock out that dirt. Now I'm going to try the 40 degree. So the 40 degree is not something that I would probably use cleaning the driveway or cleaning concrete. This is more of a car wash nozzle, something that shouldn't destroy the paint or remove any of the emblems or stickers on your vehicle as long as you don't get too close. Okay, if you do it far back, you're not going to get too much of that power down. You still are knocking off some of the dirt, but it's the easy dirt to get up. If you're going to use the 40 degree and get down, you really got to get down and get close to the concrete. But yet it's still not as effective, again, as a 15 or the 25 degree nozzles. All right, so up next is the soap nozzle, and I'm going to show you how that sprays detergent using this pressure washer. So to use this, you put your soap concentrate in here. I'm going to fill this up about halfway with water. And then you take this top, slide it on, and it's just simply twist on like that. You'll put this on the midsection of the wand. I'll show you that up next. All right, to run the foaming attachment on this, you have to take the end of the wand right here off, push in on the wand and twist it. And it's going to come out. Again, it's a quick connect. Then you take the foaming attachment, press it on the end, and then you slide it in pull the trigger and if you were spraying a vehicle or even concrete cleaner or whatever it is you're wanting to spray again it's just going to spray everything like this this is a surface cleaner attachment this does not come with the pressure washer. This is an attachment that you would purchase separately and it's meant to use on things like your driveway or sidewalks where it cleans a large area quicker than you would just with your wand. I'm showing this today to let you know there's a lot of different attachments that you can buy for these pressure washers to do many different jobs. So we're gonna see how well this runs a surface cleaner which usually is pretty hard for these electric pressure washers but I have a feeling this one's gonna do just fine. This one is a smaller attachment. I think this one's a 15 inch and it's meant specifically for electric pressure washers. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it and it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. That really helps me out. Thank y'all very much. Be safe out there.